Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we do some more TPPI and we're back doing some more blood magic of course. But if you can't tell from my hotbar, which means um, if you can't guess what we're doing in today's episode, we're going to do something a little creepy and magical, just like that noise right there. Which was very nicely timed as well. Um, but yeah, so like I say, I've done some upgrades to my um, altar. You know, as you can see here, I have filled this in. I put the... I made this without, because I just thought, screw it, put it on there, why not? Um, so large blood of some brick, all you do is you get that little, um, you know from the bound, bound sword I said? You put that over stone and you get 32 of these. So not necessarily something to worry about, because you get loads of them, so there you go. Kill that guy, stop interrupting me. Um, and there you go, so you know, like I say, and then, you know, that's tier four, is it? Tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, yeah. So if I had it, I'd click on it. Click on it. And then I've got everything la uh, laid down for nearly tier five. But what I'm going to do in today's episode is because I'm carrying on with doing the rituals, kind of, because <laughs> um, there's a specific ritual which kind of helps you get um, kind of like automated life points, I guess you could call it. So you know, instead of you having to stand here and go, oh, right click, right click, right click, you know, oh, and then, oh, you know, go get another potion, do it again, do it again, yada yada. You don't have to do that. It saves you that time and that repetitiveness. And um, this is my method of doing it. Obviously, there are, there are different ways of doing it. This is the one I normally do. And uh, I've built this little basement place around here. So if I come in here, I can show you. And I've got this set up down here. Thank you for letting me jump in now. And uh, if you can't tell, that's where, the blood, that's where the blood altar is. So it's literally right below it. And uh, I've got this little area. And this is where mobs will spawn. So the way um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Ritual. The way the ritual works is it harms um, f uh, mobs. It harms animals. Doesn't harm players. Although there is a specific ritual for that one, though, in case you do want to do it. Um, but yeah, so it's, the idea of it is it's, it uh, hurts animals and it gets you, gets you life points. Um, so there you go. And there is another way of doing it as well, where you, there's a different ritual which lets you get regen them back. So the way it works is you'll hit them, you get life points in your altar, then they'll regen it back and then like it keeps damaging. You get what I mean, you know, you keep getting life points through that way, kind of infinite. But the way I'm going to do it is we need some cur cursed earth. Because if you don't know what Cursed Earth does, it spawns mobs regardless of if you're within range. So, but it will burn in sunlight, which is the disadvantage. Um, so, and the way to get we cursed, the way we get Cursed Earth is by doing something in the extra utilities mod. Um, so to do the divination sigil, uh, I'll actually, um, what's it called? Uh, ch ch cursed Earth, sorry. I'll hover over it and I'll show you. So if I right click on it, um, you click over here. There's no crafting recipe, obviously, because like I say, this spawns which is quite cool. Um, so when this box is in a dark area, it will spawn mobs at a much faster rate and with no regard to the player's proximity, which is what I was just saying. It will also attempt to spread nearby blocks and dirt grass blocks, which is what I've got laid down already. Um, however, when light shines upon it, it will cease spawning mobs and it will very quickly return to regular dirt. So there you go. Uh, the reason I've got an enchantment table is because there's a um, the way this works is it's kind of, you do something special and I'll show you what I mean. So you, what you do is you put the enchantment table down in the middle of nowhere really, kind of out of the way from your base and what happens is if you shift right click on it you get this certain specific set of requirements you need to do um, really? there's natural earth below that, are you kidding me? but anyway, if we look at this now anyway, um, as you can see, activation ritual and if it's got an exclamation point that means the requirement has not been met yet so um, altar does not have a redstone circle, which is why I've got 8 redstone on me altar cannot see the moon, because it's got to be done at night you can't see the bottom one. Uh, Alter sufficient natural earth, which means you've got to have earth around it. Like, you know, that one back there's cobblestone, so I don't know how that works, but we'll see. Uh, Alter may not be lit by outside sources, so it's got to be completely dark on your own. Very scary. And uh, too early, sacrifice must be made at midnight. So what that means is, if you can't tell from the safari net, you need also a mob. I recommend doing it a chicken, because you can one-hit it with a sword. Or if you've you got your upgraded cleaver like I have, then, you know, feel free to do it wherever the heck you want. If you don't know what a safari net is, it's kind of like um, the, what's the best way of explaining? You know the dark craft um, bottles that I used ages ago to uh, collect them up? I think I'll do it here actually. Uh, kind of similar to that, although like they don't break if you throw them on the ground in accident, so there you go. Let's chuck that guy. I didn't spawn, oh well. Um, yeah, so once you find yourself a natural area, um, you know what, yeah, this'll do, this'll do. You wanna make sure you've got um, a one block radius around it, like this. So the way you're gonna set it up is like this. I'll do it in daytime, like this. Uh, now, if I shift or I click again now, you'll see most of the requirements will be set, apart from the fact that Alter may not be lit by outside sources, and that's partially because this thing gives off light. No, the sun gives off light, you stupid person, Josh. Duh. Um, <laughs> I'll dig this up anyway, because why the heck not. Um, but yeah, so like I say, obviously it's got to be done at midnight, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait and sit around for the sun to go down and for the moon to rise up. So I'll be right back 
once it's done. Okay, so it's midnight now, as you can see, and um, I literally did literally just stand here and wait. I'm not going to lie, you know. <laughs> it happens. Um, so if I do it again now, shift right click, you can see now, Alter has everything it needs, apart from the fact that it's too early, sacrifice must be made at midnight. And uh, because I'm back in now and I can move about, I'm going to go and patch up that dirt because that's going to annoy me. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is, because you might want to get like take everything off that you really want to keep. So like, hence why I've got like no inventory and just like the bare necessities. So iron excavator because I'm, uh, which which has silk touch, bear in mind. Uh, I'll chuck that away because I don't need that and I'll keep that one just in case. Um, so silk touch iron excavator because the way that it works is, once you do this, you do get damaged slightly. I'm not going to say loads because it will be loads if you're standing right on top of it and you have no armor at all, it will be loads. Um, whereas, Obviously, if you've got armor and you're ready for it, then obviously feel free just to be ready for it in other words. Uh, I'm going to stay kind of well back. I mean, I did make this new set of armor just for this, which I haven't got a problem with. Because I'm not saying I'm going to be sw I'm not swimming in diamonds, but I have a lot. So there you go. Um, if we shift right click now, is it still there? No, it's too it's still too early. It's got to be at its peak right up there. So yeah, and then once we've done this, I didn't grab any dirt, did I? Damn, never mind. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, once we've, once it's hit, hit midnight, calm down, Josh. Once it's hit midnight, all you got to do is put your mob on top, kill it, and we will see what happens, really. Um, so, yeah, now I've just got to kill time. Uh, how's everyone's day been today? You know, you doing good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oh, really? Cool. Wow. Yeah, I've just been, you know, doing this. So, you know, <laughs> what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, come on. Alright, okay, so now, as you can see now, if you shift right click it again, when you think, it'll say perform the sacrifice, put a mob on top, right click it, that'll happen. And as you can see now, a crap ton of scorched earth and a load of mobs will start spawning. Because, if you don't remember, the, what happens is the reason we're getting this is because it spawns mobs and stuff, you know? Oh my god, they're really quick. If you don't have a one-hit weapon, um, I definitely recommend one. So, do that, bloody hell. Oh, they don't blow up cursed earth, nice. Oh my god. There is a lot of mobs, you know what I mean? Oh my god, where's my third one, there we go. Um, there was another reason we're doing this as well, if you don't see on the hotbar now, the activation sigil is now glowing, which means that we've now got that activated. This is mayhem, this is actual mayhem right now. Have we calmed down now, mobs? We're not spawning anymore? No, we are, okay. Why do they run really quick? That makes it so much harder. Oh Jesus, oh sweet Jesus. Oh my god, I don't really give a crap about the mana creepers to be honest, I haven't got mana yet. There we go. Eh, they do some damage as well. I mean, you know, it's not much. The quicker I get to doing the rest of this, come on. Just mine it, mine it. There we go. Any more? Oh my god, go away! Oh, sweet Jesus. Come on, look at this. Um, yeah, luckily there's enough as well. Your enchantment table did actually get destroyed, so I mean, you've got that going for you. Um, please drop the block, sir. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I don't have any much health now. I don't, oh god. I'm gonna back off and get food, and I'll come back. So, that was a panic. Oh my god, I don't know what the heck just happened there. A lot of mobs spawned. They were really quick. Yes, true. Um, oh my god. I have a stack now, which is more than enough that I need. Uh, and I'll explain... <clears throat> I'll explain what happens now, once I've done. There we go. Okay, so, if you've just got enough scorched earth, and you want to leave it, and you don't want to get greedy like me, then uh, feel free to just leave it, because when, it, when the, the cursed earth hits sunlight, it will uh, just get destroyed, really. It'll burn, and then it'll return back to normal dirt. So, that's obviously really good. Um, oh my god, look how quick they are. Like, ridiculously quick. There we go. You blow up now. There we go. Eh. No. No. Why are they so quick? It's no, not fair. Oh my god, he had a creeper head on. Yeah, about that. There we go. I really want you to blow up. There we go. Cool. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be done now, I'm going to be done. I'm going to leave it now, okay. So, like I say, once you've got enough, just leave it because when the sun hits it, it'll just die naturally on its own. Um, once you're obviously done, run back to base, get yourself re-goosed, as they say, and uh, maybe sleep it off <laughs> if you can. Um, and yeah, so like I say, the Scorched Earth will be um, using for like any mob traps, or if you really wanted to, you can use it in mob traps, sorry. Um, but like I say, we'll be putting it in that middle area, I'm so sorry. We'll be putting in that middle area because that's where, you know, we're going to be doing this stuff. If I quickly run back, you can see now, like I say, it's actually burning itself right now. Uh, you could maybe try and ninja the rest. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Why did I go back? God damn. 
I just want to ninja the rest. Let me. Oh, God, look at that. It's all burned. Oh, well. I got like a couple then. It's not too much of a problem. Uh, another thing to note as well, you do, will need a silk touch because if you use a normal pickaxe, it won't happen. So like like I say, make sure you've got a silk touch one or else, yeah, you're kind of screwed in other words. Um, let the rest of that burn. Hopefully it won't start a forest fire or whatever. You know, I kind of want to sit next to it. But like I say, yeah, you see now the division sigil is now activated or division. Is it division? It's division. Okay, so the division sigil is now activated, which means uh, we can get going with the good stuff. There is obviously other uses for the division sigil than, you know, just getting cursed earth like this. Try not to burn the whole goddamn forest down, please, in the meantime. God damn. Please, please, don't burn down the forest. Oh my god, it might burn down the whole goddamn forest. Is it gonna? Please don't. I really don't want you to. <laughs> oh, please be, be prepared. Be prepared more than I am. Because I obviously suck at the game, like you can see right now. I'm going to try and control the fire. Um, give me a couple minutes and I'll get back to what I was saying. Alright, okay, I'll probably say I've got it under control now. Maybe burn down a bit more than the forest than I really wanted to. And maybe destroy the whole area, but you know, it doesn't matter. We've got cursed earth, that's all I actually really wanted. Um, so yeah, so that now this division sig- what's still burning? Why are you still burning? So now that division sig is now activated, um, you know, we can actually not use it for whatever its purpose was for. Uh, if you would click on it, you see number of uses remaining 256. So I do know kind of some about how to use the division sigil. I don't know too much. I know you can turn it into certain ores and uh, nuggets. I think it's like unstable, I think it's called. Uh, if I press U on it, I can explain better. Yeah, like unstable ingot, you can make those out of it. Why did you do that? Oh, I replied it with a redstone signal, didn't I? That was a bad idea. Yeah, I should move that as well. Um, Alright then, so like I say, we've got Scorched Earth, uh, the real reason we wanted to do the heck, the whole of that. And uh, the only thing we need to do now is that we need to make ourselves the, uh, up a, we need to make ourselves the upgraded, um, watch my jig. God damn. So, you know how we have the normal Ritual Diviner? That's what it's called. This one. You see how this one says, cannot place dust runes? I have gone over this before. Um, we need to get this one with, you know, the one that can place dust runes. And uh, the way they do this, we need two... Elemental inscription tools of dusk, which is just coal blocks with 2,000 life points. Uh, we want you, not all. Uh, and then we want demonic slates, which are an upgraded version of the imbused, which is correct. Yeah, and 15k, as you can see. Uh, imbused, you know, follows along the normal line of how to make the normal, just like that. So there you go. Uh, so I'm going to make a couple of those because it's going to take a long time and sort out my inventory and stuff like that. And uh, once I made that those couple, I'll uh, come back and hopefully we should have the upgraded ritual diviner. So yeah, be right back. Alrighty, so once you've got all of your things now, um, all you got to do is take them over to a crafting table and uh, you'll be using the old ritual one, bear in mind, so we're going to be like, that one's going to get disposed of, hopefully, I think it will, and uh, we'll be getting the one that can place dust screen, so there you go. Uh, the only difference is you're going to have to make that, uh, you're going to have to make another coal block because you're going to need another uh, element inscription tool of dusk. Um, because you know, you need one for all of these on your inventory, and uh, what else am I missing from this? Uh, weak activation crystal you're gonna need. Uh, you're also gonna need 50,000 life points in your life uh, system. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, so you see I've only got 5,000 at the moment. You're gonna need 50,000. So uh, you're gonna be sat there for a while doing that, just so you know. Uh, I'm gonna see if we've got enough. No, we don't. All right, okay. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make one more and then I'm gonna slowly put 50,000 <laughs> into my uh, system. That's gonna take ages, oh my God. So yeah, about right back. <laughs> oh jeez, okay, all right, that was not fun just sitting there for ages doing that. But as you can see now, 50,850 life points. That took too long. That's gonna take you a while if you do that legit, you know, just saying. Not saying I cheated, but honestly, that took ages. Um, so, <laughs> don't be scared. I'm, I'm not gonna judge if you guys cheat, honestly. But uh, yeah, anyway, so now that we've got that and done out the way, we're going to need to get ourselves the normal stuff. So we're going to need ritual stones, we're going to need a master ritual stone, and we'll need our weak activation crystal as well. I'm going to chuck that in there out of the way. We're going to need that on the hotbar. That not necessarily on the hotbar, but we're going to need this. And uh, you need shift right click until you get to one called... It's going to be in a second... Right, there you go, the Well of Suffering. Right, so that's the one, that's the name of the one we're going to need. And we're going to need a normal block as well, so let's get cobblestone rather than stone. 
There we go. Let's get like 30 of those. Um, and uh, the way I'm going to build this is, um, if you build it two blocks above your well, it fits perfect. It's the design of it is supposed to fit perfectly over the top. So if you put your two blocks and then you put your well on suffering uh, master ritual stone on top like that, then uh, it's going to fit quite well. Uh, have I not brought my pickaxe? God damn! Like of all the tools I don't bring, have I got one in here. Oh, of course I do. I have. My <laughs> I've got all the force pickaxes in the world, don't I? Uh, here we go, there we go, let's just chuck this out now. So yeah, like I say, um, all you gotta do is make sure you've got that two blocks above. Uh, all you gotta do then is just keep right clicking like this, and they'll spawn out. This is using my life points, isn't it? It's not, alright, fair enough. So uh, right click until your heart's content, like this. You'll see it fills up quite a lot. There you go. Uh, it's still going, I'm just gonna hit this guy a couple times until he dies. Where's my sword? I can't do this. Eh, there we go, he's dead. Awesome. There you go. Um, you see, it fits quite well, doesn't it? So uh, if I do, it's not actually quite done yet. If I, okay, now it's done. All right, fair enough. Uh, double check of my life point system again. So it's fifty eight five five zero. Do it again. Just right click like that. Then the uh, you know the little thing happens above. Obviously, I was below it, so you couldn't see. Best way to check if you've done it or not. Division sigil. I'm now on eight three eight zero. Slowly going down as well because it's being used. Um, bear that in mind as well. Uh, there is a creeper down there. If you can't tell. Actually, that's a good example. This is look there you go. So it's slowly going up as You see but my life points in my system here are also going down because it's being damaged So bear that in mind make sure you have enough in your system in the sky Like uh, what's his name Gavin? Go in up did it with the Kumars and, and never mind anyway um, <laughs> Make sure you've got enough in your system if you're gonna keep running this and uh, the only way to turn it off is if you maybe Self a piston with a glowstone to push it up and you know so you could turn it on and off or a redstone lamp or something like that I'll probably set that up after um, But all you got to do now is just simply put your cursed earth down uh, in a row just like this I'm gonna uh, use my magician's orb a bit first. I've seen that gonna spawn because that's stopping it So do bear that in mind um, You know I'll just put the rest of it down as cursed earth just like that. There you go um, Yeah, so like I say that's not that's not gonna spawn them now um, I might have, I might get a backup if that's possible. No, let's just whack that there for now then. And if I, what's my life points on at the moment? Where's my sigil? There we go. Yeah, I'm on 2010, so that's enough. So if I do this now, they spawn, as you can see, and I'm slowly going down for every damage. So it's, it's only two life points per damage, but bear in mind that, you know, they, a lot of these people have like 20 health. So you think of that, and it damages them two as well. So that's like 10, two, four, six, eight. Wait, is there people up there? No, they're below, aren't they? Yeah, so as you can see now, it's actually going down quite rapidly. Um, but on the plus side, it is giving you a lot of uh, life points in your, you know, your ritual like this. So that's quite cool. And um, for those wondering, what happens if your life point system goes down to zero? Well, quite funny that is. You'll actually start taking health. The game will actually start taking health off you. So do put that in mind. Maybe have like a system up so that you can press a remote control. Uh, I think that's possible in this, there is remotes in this. Uh, like you have a remote in your, on your inventory and then you can just flick it. Like, you know, push, piston pushes in the redstone lamp or glowstone or whatever. You know, you can use to your content. I'm going to maybe think of an idea and then do something with it. We'll see. Uh, what's my life points on now? So, you know, you know, like I said, it's going down quite rapidly. And um, if you want to use your remote idea or you just put a torch there. And uh, it's going to kill the existing one, obviously. So, uh, once he's dead. Once he's dead, I can carry on. You're gonna die? You're gonna die anytime soon, buddy? There you go, he's dead. So there you go. So, um, yeah, I was on 2,000 life points then, and that what was that running on for, like, a minute? Not even that, probably. As you can see now, I was on 800 life points, wasn't I, before? Yeah, look, 850, look, and now it's on 2,040. So just running it for a minute, I got 2,000 life points, and I didn't take any damage from myself either. So I find that really good. But yeah, anyway, that's how you to automate the system. You can do the regen way so that it doesn't spawn more, but whatever, it's all it's all up to you. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying the series so far. I'm going to have to leave it there because it took a lot of time. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye for now. Yeah.